Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 30th of 2019. It is about 11 a.m. in the morning. I'm expecting a package. It should be going in the mailbox about right now with some plants and a few items, fish food, stuff like that for my aquarium. But... Uh, a few hours ago, I upgraded to, as you can see down in, down below, upgraded to Windows 10 Pro Insider, uh, build 18908. And, by the way, I don't recommend, and I shouldn't be doing it, don't get these pre-advances. I mean, unless you're in the industry and you need to, you know, but for a common person, don't do these upgrades. Uh, I think, let's see, this one gives me more info, yeah. So, uh, here's, by the way, where you uh, check, you know, for updates. And Let's see. Microsoft has released uh, that your phone app is now considered a built-in feature of Windows 10. And cannot be uninstalled like a normal app. Due to this, Microsoft is continuing to add new features to make your phone app become an integral part of a mobile user's life. With the Windows 10 Insider Build 18908, Microsoft has brought you numerous improvements to your phone app, which are listed below. I'll put the link to this. Um, Like I said, I'll put the link to this. Now, I believe that it only works with... Okay, they don't mention that here. But somebody else uh, does. Yeah. Okay, here's a... I'll put a link to this also. Uh, go down here phone screen, features, keyboard language, layout, new phone models. Uh, for users of TalkBack, hmm, that must be, where did I, oh, wait, uh, I don't, where did I put my cell phone? I'm guessing the TalkBack, where did I put it down? I knew I had it here someplace. It's charging on the charger. Oh, anyway. Uh, for users of TalkBack, you can now enable your phone companion accessory service found under your Android phone accessibility settings for smoother cross-device reading. Once both TalkBack, TalkBack and your phone companion Accessibility services are turned on. A narrator will play from your PC, describing what you select and activate on your phone screen as you interact using your PC's keyboard or mouse. Uh, oh, okay. I guess it says... Uh, I thought it said you had to have one of these, but now seeing this, it says it now supports uh, Samsung phone models and certain Android phones running Android 7.0 or greater. Then it lists Samsung's different ones, but it lists plus one, uh, one plus six and the one plus six T. Uh, anyway. 
I am not sure if I, I don't know. Took quite a while to install, by the way. And that reminds me, I'm going to do that right now. And you can watch. I'm going to go and go see if I can go back to not getting these current updates, but just getting them occasionally because it right was right. You know, it uh, of course I had the option. You know, it gave me the option of restarting or of doing it now. You know. Let me see here. Advanced, uh, no, it's uh, here, Windows Insider Program. I'm on the fast build. So I'm going to see if I can go to the slow now. Okay. okay it says something down here, but oh, I see. No, that's not it. Where's uh Okay, uh I thought I saw something up, but it must have been what was underneath this. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I think it's checking to make sure everything is copacetic. Okay, there was let's see. Okay, I'm back on the slow. Okay, so I was able to change everything okay. So now I guess I'll get an update once or twice a month. <clears throat> uh, what else? I'm using for this recording OBS 23.1, OBS Studio. And uh, looks like it's working okay. So I'm going to stop here. And there again, let me say before I, you know, again, I don't recommend, if, unless you really have a need to, don't go to advanced uh, things like I do from time to time. Over the years, once or twice, at least once, I think once or twice, I mean, I nuked, you know, a new build or whatever just I had to format and uh, start over and don't tell anybody I don't have a backup of it I, I I never have a backup when I mess this up I'll probably install <clears throat> I already have dual boot installed for Linux but I'll probably sit to hell with Windows you know I'm just going to use Linux, and then I'll use Linux for a day or two, and then I'll think about all the programs that I have uh, spent money on and uh, that run on Windows only. Uh, and then I'll reinstall Windows. And, uh, so I think that's... Uh, I think that's it. I'll have another video coming up here pretty quick, uh, putting the uh, plants in the tank. And I've been kind of worried about the fish. Uh, I've only got a few, uh, four Corydoras, catfish, and four snails, and two Placostomus. And uh, I, uh, one of the things that's coming, maybe in the mailbox right now, is some wafer type tablets that'll go right to the bottom to feed. And I think that's what they, you know, I think that's what they need with the type of fish that I have right now. And so thank you very much for watching. And there'll be a, probably a couple more videos coming up here today. Like I said, <clears throat> this is sort of a test to uh, OBS uh, Studio to make sure that it works because of the upgrade. And uh, probably the next video I will use, not OBS, but I will probably use uh, Manicam or uh, 
Movidia. So, there again. Thank you very much for watching.